This is a public information broadcast on behalf of the Swiss Broadcasting Company on how to become a 20-minuter. The term 20-minuter was originally applied to pilots in the Royal Flying Corps during the First World War. The moniker 20-minuter referred to the life expectancy of a combat pilot. Although nowadays it also applies to any idiot on a scooter. So, whether you ride and deliver for one of the major delivery companies, or one of the plucky little independents, you too could become a fully paid up member of the 20 Minuters Club. The first thing we need to look at is what you wear as a 20 Minuter. Most 20 Minuters will eschew any traditional motorbike gear in favour of leggings and a pair of trainers. Protection to the lower half of the body is provided by the flimsy rain cover attached to the front of the scooter. No self-respecting 20 Minuter would buy a Shubath, Arai or Showy helmet. They much prefer to wear a cheap helmet that provides inferior protection. When riding as a 20 Minuter, one should always position the mirrors so you have no vision of what's behind you. When joining the carriageway, it is considered the correct form to do so from behind a stationary vehicle approaching the carriageway at right angles to the direction of the traffic. When approaching a junction where traffic is pulling out, one should always consider having a mobile handheld device. Usually a premium product such as a Samsung or iPhone is preferable. When stopping at traffic lights, one does not stop at the normal stop line, but one is encouraged to enter the box reserved for cyclists, preferably to move as far forwards as possible in this box. Or alternatively, if there is no cycle box, simply cross the stop line. When pulling across in front of traffic, one should always remember that oncoming cyclists have far more manoeuvrability than you do on a moped, and therefore they should give you priority allowing you to simply pull across in front of them and making them take evasive action. When on the open road, one should consider a stopping distance at 30 miles an hour of approximately one and a half meters. Any more than that is considered bad form. When encountering motorcyclists, 20 minutes are encouraged to cut across in front of the motorcyclists leaving them little warning. Motorcyclists particularly enjoy it when you do so with less than a foot of distance between you and them. They'll thank you for the experience and it's further a preference from the motorcyclist that once you've overtaken them you proceed to engage emergency braking. This provides them with a further challenge that once again they will thank you for. And finally we get to filtering. When filtering, make sure that you push the front wheel of your bike between lorries and vans. Particularly when a lorry is at an angle that it's going to pull forwards in front of you, decreasing the amount of space you will have. And for the more advanced 20 minuter, we have high speed filtering. Remember, this is not considered overtaking even though the vehicle you may be passing is at the speed limit. And once again, this is encouraged with a higher level of technicality that you should do so approaching a blind bend, preferably one that has a high level of buses and lorries coming downhill towards you. One hopes you have enjoyed this educational film and one hopes that viewers will hit the subscribe button or if they have particularly enjoyed it, the like button as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe out there. And do remember, it's a bloody mad world.